A new entry to the budget scene is here and that is the Warmir SK65 that was sent over to me by Warmi themselves for my honest review and that is exactly what we're going to do. So this keyboard starts off at a price of $99.99, comes in four different colorways. The colorway I have here today is their E-coded blue. With that being said, inside the box you get all the standard stuff which is the keyboard itself fully built with a USB-A to USB-C cable, a 2-on-1 keycap and switch puller, and the 2.4 Hz wireless adapter. With all that being said, this is an OEM keyboard case. So like this keyboard has been sold in various different names. It has been sold under the Lucky 65 name, the Sugar 65 name, and now this one. Now all three of these are sold by different companies, but it is pretty much the same keyboard. So I'm kind of not a big fan of that because if you look at the bottom of this keyboard, they really didn't change it to say something I guess else other than the Lucky branding. So it still has the clover on the bottom and it still says Lucky, even though this technically isn't a Lucky 65. Other than that, it comes with plate mounted stabilizers that are pretty decent. They are lubed well, so I really didn't have any issues with that. And the keycap quality is pretty solid as well. Nice thickness, double shot cherry. So I was really happy about that. Now this is a tri-mode connectivity keyboard. So you do get Bluetooth 2.4 Hz and wired, but there is no slot on the keyboard itself to hold that receiver, which is my issue with most of these tri-mode connectivity keyboards. They do not have slots to put the 2.4 Hz dongle. And since it is very small, it is very easy to lose. Now this keyboard is made out of CNC aluminum, but it's not the greatest aluminum. It's not the softest coating on the planet or what you would expect on a more premium board. So just keep in mind when purchasing that it's not gonna feel the greatest. The keyboard comes with Warmier's Palm pre-lubed linear switches and this is south facing and does have RGB. It is also gasket mounted and I cannot see anywhere online that says it's via or QMK supported so I do think that is kind of a missed opportunity because that is usually what people want to use. When it comes to the sound side of things it does have PE foam, case foam, and plate foam but I do think it sounds quite unique. You know I usually don't like PE foam and keyboards but with this one I quite like how it sounds right out of the box and when it comes to the feel part of it this is gasket mounted. Of course the foam kind of removes a lot of that bounce and flex factor but because the keyboard does have flex cuts that kind of adds a little bit more in if you remove the case foam you'd get a bit more flex if you wanted that but of course gasket mounting is also great for an even typing experience which this keyboard definitely has here's a quick sound test so you guys can hear how it sounds So yeah, great keyboard for a great price, doesn't really have that many flaws. If they do make a new version of this, I would like for the branding to match the keyboard, you know. They also should have VIA and QMK support for the next one, and screw and stabilizers would be a great upgrade as well. Other than that though, I'll be leaving this keyword in the description below for you to check out. Let me know what you guys thought about the Warmier SK65 in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.